So here, uh, I've got a couple of files here. Uh, I've got it completely, you know, empty and naked. The first thing we're going to do is set up uh, a kind cluster. So uh, this is what we're going to do. Just moving this out of the way. Uh, so we're going to create a new kind cluster, kind being Kubernetes and Docker, if you're not familiar. So create a local cluster, kind of like Minikube. Uh, I'm just adding these extra settings to expose these ports uh, on another local host. So we can hit these later at the end of the demo. This will make a little more sense. This is just um, boilerplate that makes uh, easier to run glue and kind on a local machine. It's, it's really just a demo. Uh, so with that, we'll create the cluster demo. Um, again, we're just exposing ports 31500 and 32500, if I remember correctly, uh, to local host. And then from here, we can go ahead and install glue. And we'll look at the bookstore service. So this is the gRPC service we're going to be working with um, and exposing as a REST API locally, uh, even though it's a, a gRP service itself. So there we have our Kubernetes cluster live. I'll stop using shorthand, kubectl get pods. We can see that uh, my Kubernetes context is set up properly. We've installed Kubernetes. They've got the controller manager, Kubecore DNS, and the like. Uh, so from here, we'll install the gateway. Um, so gluectl install gateway. We're installing version 1.5. We're showing off new functionality added in glue 1.5. And uh, similarly, I'll show you the values. These are some Helm values overrides for this particular, for this installation. So these Helm values, when we take a look at these, are, are really just going to match the, the cluster configuration that we had for Kind itself. We created the Kind cluster and exposed ports. Um, these are used to make sure that the services that we expose our, our ingress match those ports. Ah, I see. So it finished. So if we are doing pods and glue system, we should see that we have our envoy, gateway proxy, the gateway, glue itself, serving XDS config, and discovery, uh, discovering upstreams for us. So the values that I installed with here just to tell us to do a node port service type on the on the envoy and to use the same ports that we uh, defined in kind to expose them on localhost. Just demo setup. You wouldn't do this in a real, real environment. And so the effect of this is that if you were to get the service, um, it makes sure that the gateway proxy service envoy is exposed on those ports instead of just picking any arbitrary open ones. Um, so moving from there, we've got our cluster set up. We've installed glue. Um, now we can take a look at the bookstore gRPC service. So here in the bookstore, we have, um, I'm going to remove the descriptors. This was not cleaned up from prior. So here the, the relevant things are, let's start with the, uh, the bookstore proto. This is the API that our gRPC service uh, is implementing. So nothing too complex here. Um, we have our, our GRP service um, with you know RPCs. We can list shelves, uh, get the response, which is just a list of shelves, create shelves. Um, it's just a, a library, a bookstore. Uh, the, the important or, or relevant thing here is that we're taking advantage of the Google API uh, HTTP transcoding annotations in our proto. So here we're defining, uh, when, I, when I make this GRPC call and I want to map uh, an HTTP call in this way, uh, and then Envoy can take, will be able to take care of this with glue in 1.5. Uh, so for here, we're saying, if someone were making an HTTP REST call with the path dash shelves, we'll return the list shelves response, um, which is just the list of shelves. And then similarly, if we want to create a shelf, if, the, if someone posts, makes an HTTP post request on the path slash shelf, then take the request body and put it uh, like under shelf, into a shelf. Um, similarly, we can take a look briefly at the, uh, the server code, but here it's really quite simple. Um, we implement the bookstore server. We implement, you know, list shelves, create shelf. Um, this is just, again, standard gRPC service. So what we need to do here to expose this as a, a REST API in Glue 
is we need to uh, generate proto descriptors that Envoy can then use uh, to decode uh, HTTP calls and then put, turn them into the appropriate gRPC uh, information. So we've got it built into here um, in, I believe, main.go. Our, we have our, our go generate, we can descript, generate our proto descriptors using this call. So here we're going to uh, create the descriptors proto, you know, dot PV, the binary for decoding those HTTP REST calls. Um, so the, the command that we need to do, um, I'll just run this real quickly and I'll explain what it's doing. So first we're going to uh, change into temp directory and clone protobuf and Google APIs. These are the, uh, these are necessary source for generating the correct protobuf. Um, and then we're going to export the, the location of where these are stored and then change directories back to where we are and run go generate. So we're really just doing some setup, running go generate. Um, this is specific to the demo, but we just need to generate this uh, descriptors file. This, this set created this descriptors directory. And there's this descriptors protobuf. And this is the binary that we need to provide for Envoy. Uh, so again, we've, we've cloned the protobuf directory, the Google APIs directory, and then set the locations here, and then run go generate from the current directory where we are right now. And this go generate ran this proto C command that took use of Google protos home, protobuf home, including the source information from these repos that we cloned, and then we're outputting it as these protobuf descriptors. This, this is going to turn into binary we can send to Envoy. So another thing that we have here is um, these are descriptors for the service, but we need to actually deploy the service to our cluster. So if we want to take a look at bookstore.yaml, this is just a simple deployment and service that deploys the bookstore, the gRPC service. Um, nothing too fancy here, just applying this. This is the source code for the service that we're going to be applying. So just as a reminder, we've you know now applied the service. So we should see, we still have Glue installed. If we look in default, we should now see the bookstore. Uh, similarly, because we have Glue's discovery service running, we should now have an upstream discovered for that uh, service, Glue system. So we now have the bookstore service. This was created 20 seconds ago when I deployed the bookstore service. Um, now we can apply, uh, moving back down, we're going to actually route to the service. So the steps we've uh, looked at the source code, generated a scripter for doing the trans transcoding from gRPC uh, to REST. Uh, we've installed glue, we've got the bookstore upstream running, uh, so now we just need to create a way to route to it. Uh, so first we can apply the, uh, the virtual service and let's take a look at what this is. Simply this virtual service, uh, we're just taking requests at foodexample.com, matching everything and sending it to the bookstore. We're not doing anything fancy here. Uh, so the only other thing we need to do now is update the gateway. So to enable the, this gRPC transcoding in the gateway, this is what we're going to be applying. Uh, the only real changes here are these. So here we're going to apply options for the gRPC JSON transcoder, which was added in Glue 1.5. Uh, we're working with the main.bookstore server package and then uh, of this bookstore service. Uh, and then we need to include proto descriptor bin. So this is the binary for the proto descriptor. Uh, this will be very long and I'll, uh, we're about to get this and fill this in and that's all we need to do. Um, so let's, let's do that. But if when it's very long and we could do this as a file instead. Uh, so to get that binary, we need to, uh, let's see, go to the bookstore. Again, the binary is, is in this file that we generate from descriptors with proto C. So if I want to take a look at this, we can look at the file and put it into base64. This would just be binary, very, very big, like we might've seen before. Um, 
begins with the same couple characters, C or T. I'm not going to keep scrolling up. Um, instead, we can just put it on our clipboard and update the, uh, the gateway. So here we have this is the configuration we want to add. We're just going to fill in the rest of this from the uh, from a clipboard. And now if we just apply QCTL apply the gateway, then we should be in business. We have configured our gateway to you do the gRPC transcoding. We've configured our virtual service to route to an upstream that's been discovered. We've applied the bookstore. Um, so we should be able to route now. Uh, if we want to get a list of shelves, we're looking here, we can make a request to foo.example.com matching our virtual service at localhost. Localhost is working because we've set up this port forwarding on 31500 when we installed glue and uh, set up kind. Uh, so now it knows how to handle this rest request to our gRPC service. Similarly, if we wanted to add a shelf, we could uh, then provide the post request uh, with the proper body, and we've added a new book sh a shelf uh, to our bookshelf, and then we can re retrieve it. Um, so here's a little, quick little demo of the the advanced GRPC transcoding. This gives you a lot more flexibility um, than the sort of auto discovering that we had before in Glue, and allows you to do more uh, flexible things. Like uh, you know, instead of providing this is the body, you can grab it from query parameters and and all the other options that the Google HTTP transcoding. Uh, you know, protobuf options allow. Um, 